In this video, we're going to look into how you can use a Firebase database as a database for your Chrome extension. Now, I was making a Chrome extension recently and I had I wanted to do this exact same thing to add like a database to my extension. And it turns out it's not as straightforward as you'd think to actually add Firebase into uh, your Chrome extension. So in this video, we're going to go through the steps that you need to take to make sure that you can connect your Firebase app into your Chrome extension and what you need to do to send requests to and from your database. So to begin with, we're going to be looking at the manifest file um, and then we're gonna be setting up a background page before connecting um, Firebase uh, to our extension. And then we need to look at something called the Chrome runtime, which lets us send events to our background page, which is where our Firebase connection will be made. And then we'll just look at a quick example that puts all of this together. So first, let's take a look at what you need in your manifest file. So this is just a basic manifest file just here, but the main differences that you might notice that you'll actually need for adding Firebase is this background page just here. Now, for this example, I've given the background page a name as background.html to keep it nice and simple. Um, so this is all you need just here, and then you can have obviously your other permissions and stuff that you need. But the only other difference is down here, we have um, a parameter called content security policy. Now this needs to be set to this, um, this text down here. Now I'll add this in the description of the video, but you need to make sure that you have all of these URLs included so that um, your extension can make calls to um, the Firebase database. And there's a number of different um, services that it uses, such as this um, G static one just here. So in terms of the actual manifest file, these are the only um, parts that you need to add to be able to make your calls to Firebase. So next, let's take a look at what you actually need in your background page, your background.html. So here's my background.html file. It's quite straightforward, exactly what you'd expect if you're using Firebase on the web. So I'll make two calls here, one um, to include the sort of base Firebase functions, and then I have an extra call here to bring in the Firebase database. As in this example, I'm only using the Firebase database. Next, I make a call here to my firebase.js file. Now this is where the actual connection to Firebase is made. So step three is this connection to Firebase. So if I open my firebase.js um, over here, you'll notice the standard Firebase configuration. Now, if you wanna know where to find this, you can find um, a link in the description to my course on Skillshare that takes you through all the steps um, to do this. But for this video, we're gonna assume that you have this Firebase config already. So you'll just paste this in here, and then you're all set up. You can use Firebase um, in your extension. Now, the next step you need to look at is how do you actually send uh, messages with the Chrome runtime to your from your extension to your background page? Now this is where the Chrome runtime comes in. So I'll show a quick example of how, of how this works. So here you can see the Chrome runtime in action. So you just call Chrome, then runtime, which is like a special set of functions that you can use within Chrome extensions. Um, I'll include a link in the description as well to like the Chrome extensions uh, documentation that explains this in more detail. But for this example, all we really need is this send message function. Then you can send an object through here so this is basically the, we call it command, but it could be name or whatever you want that just explains which action you want to take. And then you just set some data. So this could be um, like, in this example, it's the domain. So I want to fetch, fetch coupons from a specific domain. This could be anything that you would need. It could be to-do items, it could be a user ID, and you want to pull that from the, from the database. So next we set a response just here. So this will wait um, for a response from a background file before then using the response data for our extension. So this would just send it to another function, for example, but that could be whatever you needed. So let's have a look at the other side of this inside our background page and see what we actually do with this information. So here we are, it sent the request to our background page, which obviously includes our firebase.js. So we jump to that page here and you can see down here, we're using Chrome runtime again, but instead of sending a message, we're listening to it. So we're saying on message, and then we're just adding an event listener for any events that are sent to us or any messages that are sent to us. So we can see here we're using the command. So we're saying message command. So this is where we set out the parts of the object just here. 
and then we're just saying which command was this or the name of it so again this part just in here where he said fetch so command fetch this is where we have this so this is equal to fetch this is where we want to pull data from the database and display it back to our user so just as you normally would use firebase on the web we're just calling firebase database setting a reference so the path to where we want to find our data only running this once and then we're waiting for a response and then passing this back to our app.js in this example. So you can see up here we've set our response and this is just we just send an object straight back. So we have our type, our status and our data. And it really is that simple. So I have another one done here. So this is where I'm fetching and this is where I'm posting to the database. We could have as many different types of commands as you need and it just works exactly the same way. Um, so that's how you can get started using uh, Firebase as a database within your Chrome extension. You can see how easy it is to, to start, but it's not as straightforward as you would think. You can't just pull in the Firebase um, config files straight into your app.js and you can't include the, um, the Google static or the gstatic URLs straight from within your manifest file. So you have to take this extra step to connect everything. Hope you found this video helpful. And if you're interested in more content like this, then you can subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any suggestions for new videos, drop a message in the comments and we'll get that sorted.